Hello and welcome back to Boring Dead Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Our Adventurer Guild. Um, we're going to go and do another contract straight away, I think. We're still trying to work towards levelling our preferred party up to level 8. We've got a few of them. Simchi's going to be in it, Rowan's going to be in it, uh, Flora Blitz is going to be in it, Odin, but he's currently out for a few days. Um, Pladuk I would like to be in it, he's our high mage. Um, He's still level 7, so I think we're going to take out the Rising Stars here. We're going to take out Christoph B, Gizmo, Hestapa, Hyper Bumfuzzle, and Pladding. In fact, Hyper is very close to becoming our first Ranger. She just needs a, uh, one more deck, which I think we'll be able to do on a level up. So let's go and do that. So levels 5, 6, and 7. I think we can probably do a 3-star mission fairly safely. One more. Lots of XP. We could, do, we could do a Hunt the Target in the Forest. It's more XP. Uh, clear an area. That's 16,000... 18,000. Let's do this one. Hunt the target in the forest. Let's do that. So, let's uh, make equipment available. Let's see what blessing we get. Death Ward. Hopefully it won't be necessary, but what have we got? What does it do? 10 death resist for all adventurers during battle. Okay. Like I said, hopefully it won't be necessary, but I guess you never know. Let's pop the rising stars in here. Um, have I done... Uh, Formation. Well, actually, I don't think I have, but I don't think I can do it from this screen either. So, I would love some more blue weapons coming in. I mean, I've got two sets for the same class, uh, who we aren't actually taking with us on this mission. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do the best we can. So, green weapon, green weapon, green weapon. Uh, at least Kristoff can take a big old sword. We'll do that. Similar on the armor front, really. I mean, we'll give Kristoff B the heavy plate that we've got. And then it's just a case of the same old green equipment. Would like to see more stuff coming in. At least we're getting quite a lot of blue accessories. Physical attack and penetration. I think that sounds like a good warrior thing to have. Initiative we'll come back to. Physical resistance. I might give to Kristoff because he's kind of going to be our tank among this setup. We've got some really nice resistances there. We'll come back to that. 10 crit though, that seems pretty good. Although we have a ring that does more than that, don't we? Oh, 10 accuracy and 5 crit, okay. Give Pladuk this book, I like that book. Plus the... Actually, Pladuk has a huge pool of uh, SP now, he's got 90 SP. I'm wondering if I give the Amulet of Casting to Hestapa. She's only got 64. Mm, does that make sense? Well, you can always swap it. We can swap it around, couldn't we? If someone gets low, we'll pop it on them. Plus five physical attack. I think it would be good. For, it could be good for either of these classes. Let's put it on our archer. Dodging it. Yeah, that's a good rogue one. Well, assassin now. Plus, we'll take the sneak attack damage. Uh... 20 accuracy, probably good on everyone, but we'll give it to Hyper. Um, remember, Pladok's our Ice Mage, I don't have an Ice Mage glove. To accuracy and crit. Probably not that important for either of those. There's no bad weather or anything, I don't think we need any of that. I mean, I'm gonna, I'll take, uh, we'll take... Mm, I like the extra heal skill. No, no, we'll take, we'll take the Basilisk. And cloak, accuracy, crit, reflect. Maybe the initiative. That way he's always going to be going first. But then I tend to delay moves, so I don't even know if that's that beneficial. I need to sell off so many of these duplicates. I'll get quite a lot of money for that. Uh, I just don't know if at this level there's any benefit to the... Resistances. Let's take the accuracy. I mean, even if it doesn't really use the crit on spells, it will increase the accuracy. Okay, it's done. Take those. This is... Mm. Let's save that for now. I think a minor mage potion, though, maybe. It's in the forest. That probably means poison. Maybe bleed. We'll take a couple of those things to self-heal if necessary. Um... 
than I think. It's recommending 16. Okay. Uh, 10, 5, 1. Let's take that. In fact, let's... um. Might as well take two full stacks. Let's start a quest. That doesn't look very good. Um, so we'll do that. Do that. Do that. Save formation. There we go. So is this the one... Is this a find the target? Is this bandit leader we're looking for? It'll tell us. It's usually a bandit leader. I don't know if that might change in later levels after you've done the bandit king. It's possible. Might be less bandits around afterwards. I'd be surprised, but you never know. Oh, it's Excalibur. I wonder if... I, in the last episode, I was talking about an item that lots of people had that I didn't. And, well, I'm not going to give it away, but I'll let... I'll say if it is what I hope it is. Gizmo, yep. Yeah. Making a... Having a good rogue in the party is great for those sort of things. So let's start this event. On their way, the party started to hear a voice calling out for them in the distance. Looking out for the source of the voice, the party spotted something strange. A sword buried into a stone. Greetings, travellers. Would you be so kind as to help someone in need? The party tried to locate the owner of the voice, but from what they could tell, there was nobody around. There was just them and... The party immediately turned their heads to the sword in the stone. Yes, that's right. It's me who's been speaking to you. As outlandish as it might sound, I am an articulate sword. Ferdinand is the name. At least that's what I like to believe my name is. Somewhat overwhelmed by the situation, the party had no idea how to react and were in a loss, at a loss for words. Contrary to them, the talking sword started to speak like it hadn't had a decent conversation in ages. You see, my friends, I hope you don't mind if I call you friends. <laughs> I'm in a very particular situation. Life as a sentient sword is already something I cannot recommend, but I cannot stress how much worse it is being stuck in a dumb stone far away from any decent conversation partner. So if you don't mind, would you be so kind as to free me from this God's forsaken rock? If you do, I'd be happy to be part of your entourage. We're going to do it. This is this is the event that um, I hadn't received up to now that, that other people had. Um, getting the speaking sword. Because the, the black iron that we've been collecting apparently can be used to upgrade him. Gizmo rubs her hands and put her hands on the handle. Gizmo could tell that Ferdinand was stuck very deep in the stone. Anyone weaker than her would have a hard time getting the sword out. But not Gizmo. Gizmo pulled with all her might. The rock tried to resist, holding its prisoner as tight as it could, but with every pull, Ferdinand got a little bit looser. Until eventually, with one pull, Gizmo pulled the sword out of the stone. Well done. I knew from the moment I saw you that you'd be my saviours. <laughs> as promised, I'll follow you until the end of times, Ferdinand proclaimed happily. Now, who among you is going to wield me? The party looked at each other. That was a good question indeed. We have gained... Ferdinand, the talking sword, plus seven physical attack. It's a great sword. <laughs> um, but it, he's only a green sword now, but apparently he is upgradable. I don't know how or why that happens, but we have been collecting the black iron. Oh, there's our bandit leader already. Uh, and, uh, we've done the event and are about to do the bandit leader. I guess the question is, how much more do we do post this battle? Because we could, uh, if it's a quick one, we could squeeze in, squeeze in another one in this episode. The last episode got a bit long. Um, but that's fine. We're certainly doing okay for money and things. Um, anyway, uh, let's just wait for them to come to us. Quite excited to get Ferdinand back and see if we can uh, talk to the blacksmith about him. Because if we can upgrade him to blue level, suddenly that's looking pretty good. Shame we've already got. We seem to be getting du like duplicates in the sense of sword and shield sets and great sword sets. So I'd really like some nice blue weapons and armor for some of the other classes. Gizmo. I'd quite like to take down one of these crossbowmen. I don't like them. We could do a little teleport. Uh, on cooldown that one. I was debating whether I shadow step away as well, but let's take that. And 90 distances looks like a kill. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Maddock. Yeah, I think we might take to try and take down the other one. Is he still... Yeah, he's still in three range. Okay. Uh, this looks like a kill, though. 
Very nice. Those ranged guys annoy me. Estepa. I'm uh, not quite sure what's going on with your skills here. Um, that's three. That's two. I'll stay here. Let's give Hyper more accuracy. And I'm going to release Basilisk Boy. I need to buy an action point though. There you go, go do your thing. Hyper. Yeah, let's try and... Can I get in here? Oh, I can't quite get in there. 70 to 21. Okay, so let's just put a little more sauce on that. Hopefully get a one-shot kill. There we go. Actually crit. Very nice. Christoph B, we want you up on the bandit leader, I think. That's our hit chance. 85 on a power swing. Let's do it. Probably miss. No, we hit for a good amount. Here comes the maniac. He moved far. I think we might bring Gizmo round to help. Let's go do that. Okay, come here. Uh, need to spend another bravery point. And let's put the bleed. Mind you, is the basic attack killing him? Yeah, I mean, if it hits, it's a kill. So, very nice. Thank you, Gizmo. As those hatchling and kill it. Not quite. Ooh, that could be nasty. Oh, hello. Bladdock, most popular man in the group. Okay, um, well. Oh, I missed. How did you miss? What's he got? He's, he's actually dead on his next turn. Uh, so let's do. Let's go for this guy then. Should have checked that before I wasted the spell, but never mind. Estepa, I think we should probably heal up Paddock there. Do another big swing, hopefully hit again. Nope! Oh no! Pretty much damage to it, not doesn't even hit it. So yeah, interesting. A gizmo, well we're uh I'm not gonna use well, yeah, let's just use our, our mana because this might be our last fight, potentially, if we decide to just go home early. Because we get the majority of the, the XP from just doing the contract. Nice. That's 16 bleed. He's actually dead next round, so um, they both are. I guess we could just... Tr I don't know if you get more XP for just doing the kill rather than letting them bleed out, but either way. Ooh, I don't know if your aim is off today. Uh, there he goes. We'll continue for now. There is that elite there. Do I want to go straight into an elite fight? Mm. No. Let's just go back and we'll get another we'll get another contract in this episode. Without going to the hour and a half mark like I did last time. Ooh. Okay. We can get a couple of levels. That's, bit, that's interesting. I think if you can get in, do the contract, get out, and then, you know, potentially just do more missions more quickly, I think, that, I think that's preferable. And we might get an Arcane Knight here. Feels like he's going to need more strength. He doesn't have particularly amazing stats, if I'm honest. Um, do I try? I might try and get the 50-50s. 
Well, we got that. <laughs> I suppose that's better. Strength 10. He's only got a 50-50. Oh, you know, I don't know. I don't know about Arcane Knight for you, actually, Hestipper. Wisdom 12. What's your wisdom increase? Yeah, we'll keep it like that for now, but we might end up going back to Bishop. What else we got? Hyper, maybe a... Yeah, probably not a couple, actually. But one, but one's fine. Yeah, that's good, I think. I'm thinking she's going to be good for a ranger this time. Let's take that. Hyper's a ranger. Excellent. And then we got Pladuk. Level 8. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take that. We, we did get uh, two for intelligence. That's good. Doing pretty well now. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, Flora Blitz is no longer completely miserable. <laughs> so, that, so that's good. Um, okay, let's do let's do this. So we're gonna first of all no, let's do her skills first, and then we'll train the class. We want to take something that's not gonna be incompatible with the ranger, I think. It always feel it feels like we struggle to get a height advantage. I might just take the extra m movement or mana. I'm gonna take movement first. Then we got Pladuk. Now what's he got here? Increase range of arcane skills by one. We'll definitely be taking that. Because it becomes a, a matter of what else do we take. What's this? Enchant weapons. Could be good. Or do we increase magical pen? Ooh, advanced offensive spells. Oh no, I think that's the one we take, isn't it? Let's have a look at what they do. So Fireball is an AoE, 2x2 two two square, it looks like. Uh, the Ice Spikes is like a uh, row of three. Chain Lightning. Vex will be applied to a random target that is at most two tiles away until three targets have been hit or it misses. Mm. An Earth Ring. That's around him. Okay, interesting. Um, well, we want to... Yeah, we'll take the range. And we'll take the AoE versions of his spells. And I think if we get... Next time we get a chance, I thought I might take the Lightning Magic Adept. I like Fireball. Obviously, I love Fireball as a spell, any RPG. But with Pladuk having the Fear of Fire, I think we're going to avoid that sort of thing on him. Right, let's have a look at... Hyper. Going to be our first Ranger. Rangers are deadly foes on the battlefield who are capable of picking any target they wish to. They can easily turn the tides of battle by taking out those high-value targets, and unlike other classes, rangers rarely miss. Let's do it. One day. Uh, so, ooh, what's happening? Uh, so, oh, I've got someone to speak to. Oh, it's the blacksmith. Yeah, let's talk to him about Ferdinand, hopefully. Hmm. Oh, my. It looks like Barrett was sharpening the talking sword. Hey, did that hurt? Can't remember Magicka's voice. Interesting. Does that mean the sword has a sense of touch? My apologies, Master Smith. It was an involuntary reaction. I got a little squeamish because this is my first time. At least I think it is. But you do not need to worry, Master Smith. It was just a response to a visual cue. I, I can, in fact, not feel anything by touch. You could rub my blade and I would feel nothing. How about it? Give it a try. And I assure you, you won't get a reaction out of me. Hmm? Nah. By the reservation, I assure you that I'll feel nothing, Master Smith. You do not need to be afraid of hurting me. I'm pretty sure that he has other reasons why he wouldn't want to do that. Uh, my lady! N no, no, of course. I was just surprised that a lady would touch my blade. The talking sword, which seems to identify as male, shows signs of carnal desires in spite of being an object. Also very likely ticklish. Are those notes about me? Oh, I beg you not to write that down. I'm not a degenerate. Hello, Guildmaster. Hello, Barrett. I see you have your hands full. Oh, greetings. You must be the Guildmaster. I've heard so much about you. I'm Ferdinand, and it might be hard to believe, but I'm a... a talking sword. Yeah, yeah. I read the reports. 
I see you seem to be interested in the sword. Does that mean that it's in some way related to the ancient empire? That was my initial hope. After all, many wondrous items we found today have been produced by the craftsmen of the ancient empire. Unfortunately, to my disappointment, the sword seems to be too relatively new for it to be the case. Nevertheless, it still might prove to be an interesting subject to study in my spare time. That statement doesn't exactly boost my self-confidence, my lady. So why is it here? Uh, one of the adventurers wanted to know if it was possible to improve it. Despite it being in a talking sword, they said it seems uh, unimpressive. And with that, my self-confidence just took another hit, Master Smith. And is it possible to improve it? Aye, with the right materials. I say if I can provide you with the materials if possible. Given that you are already working on the item, Barrett, it may be worthwhile to consider fully smelting it down and utilise the materials to craft a new weapon. I'm interested to see if it retains its personality after such a transformation. My lady, I officially declare that I'm afraid of you and beg the others to get me as far away as possible from you. <laughs> uh, the Talking Sword, upgrade Ferdinand. Absolutely. So, we need uh, some of the black iron we already have. We need, we've got loads of ore, we got the cash. So Ferdinand is going to gain more physical attack, physical penetration and accuracy. And suddenly, it seems like a pretty good weapon to have. There we go. Okay. Well, we can't make, we can't make more than one. Uh, so how does he compare to our other sword? Which is... Uh, it's on an adventure, isn't it? Um, who had it last? Christoph B had it last. Ooh, I think it might be better. So we've got 10 physical attack, the same. 20 to 25 physical penetration, so the edge is better. But the 10 accuracy, which I think is makes it better. So Ferdinand is now our best greatsword. Awesome. Okay, Barrett wants to talk again. Hi, Barrett. Hello, Guildmaster. You wanted to talk to me? Nah, but someone else. Guildmaster, you have to see this. Oh, it's you. Watch my blade, Guildmaster. Do you notice something different about it? It looks sharper. That's right. Master Smith has improved me. I'm a much deadlier weapon now. And furthermore, I can do this. Eee! Did you just wiggle? Perfect observation, Guildmaster. I've gained the ability to move my body ever so slightly. How did you do that? It wasn't me. I'm good. Not that good. Maybe it's because when my blade gets improved, I'll also grow with it. Hmm. You mean you could gain even more abilities when we upgrade you more? That seems to be the case. And there's also something else. There's even more? Yes. I started to remember my past. Really? What did you remember? I remember that I've been stuck on that rock for more than 20 years. Well, that's horrible. Why do you sound excited? Don't you see, Guildmaster? That means there's a possibility to find out about my past, as long as we keep upgrading me. Oh, I didn't know you were that eager to know your past. Who wouldn't want to know about their past? Maybe I used to be some knight and some evil wizard turned me into a sword. Maybe I have a family. <gasps> Maybe they're even still alive. Are you sure you want to know that? It could make your current predicament seem worse. Eh, you're asking the man who wouldn't break even knowing that he has been stuck on a boring rock for 20 years. Maybe I'm a woman. Huh, I never considered that possibility. Why wouldn't I? Is that an indication that I'm a man? Or maybe I'm a woman who identifies herself as a man? Oh, there's so many possibilities. Guildmaster, you have to make, help me regain my memories. I'm too excited to know. I guess we can do that when we get the materials. Marvellous. I really hope we won't regret it. So what does he need next? He needs, oh, something, a mithril ore. So I'm guessing that's, okay, so we're going to need to be in more complicated, uh, higher level maps to gain that, I think. But when we do, 14 physical attack, 25 physical penetration and 10 accuracy. So yeah, it's, it's, it's an increase, but he also gets these gem slots. He has one gem slot now. Uh, we don't currently have the ability to upgrade that, but we will soon. Speaking of, uh, we should get involved in another mission. Who have we got? I think we'll do this group. We'll do the, uh, the wolf pack. So Adrath... Dark Moon, Hemlock, Melody, and Tony. I do feel bad about leaving Bull on the bench, but I'm just waiting. I really do want to unlock the six slot party. And when we do, we can suddenly start doing a bit more of that. Um, yeah, okay, well, let's have a look at what we have available. 
So they're level four, so I think probably a level two mission seems suitable. Maybe a clearing area. I mean, I feel like that's going to be a bit of a hard ask for them, so maybe we'll do that. Okay, we're going to put in the wolf pack. We are going to make equipment available. Uh, take a couple of these while they're here. So, let's see. We've got a great sword, and we have no one in the group who can use one. <laughs> oh, man, I want to take out Ferdinand. Um... Hmm. Well, sucks to be Ferdinand, I guess. Right, let's, anyway, let's carry on with the other stuff. It's only a level two mission. It's not something that should, should concern us overly, I don't think. We'd love to get some assassin equipment. Uh, let's put that on him. And then a priest robe for Hemlock. Okay, <clears throat> I still keep forgetting to sell that stuff. Do we have, yeah, we have got a rogue. So, okay, let's do that. Let's do the time warp. No, not that. Let's, I can't have the ring that does accuracy and crit, or do we just do physical attack, dodge and initiative? Oh, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Do that. I might even do like the selling stuff off camera just because I'll, I'll just always forget <laughs> when I'm filming. Accur more accuracy and crit on the arch? I mean, maybe. Or maybe we do the physical attack because then you'll be doing way more damage. Uh, physical resistance, good for a tank. Uh, and maybe, yeah, that one. We've got a couple of mage things. I mean, that's a pretty easy choice because we're going to do that. And can she have the book? She can. That's pretty good. That's uh, eight supplies. That works for me. Uh, just take a couple of each. It's going to be quite a short mission, I think. Let's not worry too much about it. Uh, donate. Prosperity. That's fine. Let's begin. It seems to get very jumbled. I, I don't know why. Um, let's go with that. Save. I don't even remember what, what mission type this is now. Let's see. Which is I muted the sound. Um, right. We are trying to defeat any three enemies that we fight. Oh, there's an event here. Let's do that one first. Uh, strange sight, suspicious. Uh, this is... This, if it's the same one we did before, it's... Uh, like an explosive trap or something? Yeah. yeah. We've seen that one before. So, I mean, that answers the question of whether uh, events repeat. I don't think that's the first event we've seen repeat, though, either. zigzag all the way across. Oh, we may as well fight those bandits. I might just get the chest first. Yeah, we'll take all of that. Well, they got to come get us, so let's let them do that. again. Uh, I can't pause Melody, unfortunately, just because you kind of want the rogues with the sneak attacks. I mean, we could still engineer a sneak attack. He's got, what, 25 health? Yeah, okay. And we'll buy... Oh, actually, do we... Don't need to buy the AP, because we haven't actually technically moved. 81%, 23 crit, let's do it. Nice. Tony the Archer, let's bring it up there. Mm. 
Well, we can hit this one anyway. Uh, we might just unleash the basilisk. Oh yeah, finish him off. Excellent. Good work, baby basilisk. Knowingly, we can't hit either of them. Address. We come up here. Maybe I'll hold that for now. I did wonder if he'd do that. I mean, it's the sensible move, isn't it? Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh yeah, going for our healers too. Okay, if it's going to be like that. Heal up, Dark Moon. Uh, let's use our lightning. Okay. Tony? Can you do this? 95%? Yeah, you can. Of course you can. Oh, loot. A load of bandits. Oh well. We're in it for the XP, really, as rather than the loot. It's another worm. Oh, it's an elite worm. Okay. Oh, that should be alright. I mean, we'll let them come to us to an extent. They'll obviously maintain some distance, but let's bring them in a little bit before we do anything. Quite a few of them. They're not, they're not hugely keen to engage. <laughs> we can get a little bit closer. Just get right up in there. Let's get right up in there. Uh, oh, I need to buy anything. Okay. Huzzah! Oh, that's the boss. I didn't even realize that. Um. Unleash baby basilisk on the boss then. Nice. Shame we didn't get the poison, it would have killed it. Uh, lightning. Let's get our dress up as much as we can. I definitely want to get everyone upgraded to full movement ASAP, I think. Feels a lot better. That's a lisk. Mm, it's quite far, that one. Oh, we'll just get this one. Oh, it's a miss. Swing and a miss. back. I think I might just visit that mana crystal with Tony first. I'm not doing anything with Dark Moon. Sorry, not Dark Moon, Hemlock, I mean. Uh, yeah, we'll do some lightning. Blammo. Two out of three. I mean, these maps are quite small, so I'm, I probably will try and do the whole thing. Like, we've 
I've done two thirds of it already, so. Well then guys, come get us. Yeah, that's a miss I'm afraid. Come up and stab this one in the face, then. 83. Didn't get the uh, sneak attack, obviously. And baby basilisk. They do noticeably miss a lot of their. Let's hold it back until we can get a sneak attack. Miss a lot of their, you know, weaker chances. It's, it's what you would hope. It does seem to bear out. Ooh. I wish you missed less high percentage chances, though. Um, but that's the, that's the game, I guess. It's not unique to this either. XCOM veteran. Seen, I've seen worse. <laughs> well, I mean, I say that. I don't know if I have. I think even, like, classic old XCOM, I think is probably on a par with the misses. I wouldn't say it's worse. Modern XCOM uh, tends to fudge the numbers a little bit. Um, just to give you a slightly better chance of not missing, like, high percentage shots and stuff. Um, this doesn't, you know, this is basically, this This is what a, a random number generator looks like. And, you know, a fair amount of the time that one's going to come up <laughs> out of 20. Uh, yeah, this one. But, you know, it's, it, it is fine. You just have to play in such a way that the misses don't, the misses don't kind of screw you over. Because you've played, you know, very cautiously. Or sensibly. No chain, okay. And a D with a finish. No, she misses. <laughs> Adrath with the finish. Yeah. There we go. And that's going to be our third one. We could leave now, but I think there's only like another room or two to explore, so I think we're just going to do that. We could rest up, but I don't really see the point. We finished in a sec. some stone. Okay, let's uh, let's head back. We don't need to do that last fight. Yeah, I was just going to say, it doesn't feel like Melody's going for a level up there. Um, but that last fight wouldn't have made a difference either. So. seen McCann for a while. Has he got anything? Is, ooh, what's this? Winter's Breath. A staff. Ooh, 
5 accuracy, 8 magic attack, physical attack, ice potency. I mean, for Pladuk, that sounds amazing, so we will 100% take that. Cat potion, plus 20 dodge, meh. Made a bit of a cat noise with that, didn't I? Um, let's, uh, let's sell us some of these uh, duplicates that we've got. I'll keep a couple of those. What's this? This is poison. I'll keep one poison resistance, one mind, mind resistance. This is hit points. I'll keep a couple of those. Don't tend to use those. I'll keep one though. This one's kind of been superseded by a better one. There we go. Still got some old stuff around here, haven't I? I like that. That's going to be really good. Uh, particularly, well, if we look at what the start, the sort of stays we have now. Five accuracy, five magical attack. One is that one physical attack? Yeah, this five accuracy, eight magical attack, one physical, and then plus fifteen percent ice potency. Very, very nice. Okay. Oh, I'm glad I checked that anyway. What's going on in the alchemi alchemist potions? Yeah, I'm not kind of getting into the potions so much. I mean, obviously the healing and the mana, right? One more day on that. Merchant seeks bodyguard. What does this do? 500 Adventurer's Guild receives gold. Eh, you know what? I've got 46,000 in the bank. <laughs> We're doing so many missions that the, the, the money isn't really a problem. Um, let's have a look who came in there. Let's see if there's anyone really good in here. I mean, yeah, Olivia is quite good. What would her upgrades be? They're, yeah, they're not bad. They're not amazing. They're all right. Uh, what's this one? Rational. That is quite good, but yeah, not not something I'd necessarily look to replace anyone currently in the party with. Uh, okay, that's fine. Nothing immediately jumping out at me. Do I get the bait? <laughs> yeah, it's five k. I've got I've got loads. So. Just get everything. Uh, level up, level up, level up. Here we go. Adrath, level 5, incoming. Give us two on the endurance. Nah. Well, we'll take that because it was a nice stuff that we weren't guaranteed to get. Would have liked two on that, but that's fine. So he's maybe coming in as a guardian. Strength 10, endurance 12. He should get both of those. Maybe two more levels for the double strength. Unless we get a good trait or something, maybe. Dark Moon. I mean, on one hand, we got a bit lucky on this side. I'd say we got a little bit unlucky here, though. But you know what? The will We're not guaranteed to do willpower. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I think we have to take that, because I don't think we'd get that on a reroll. So she's looking for High Mage, but the... Oh, it's the Wisdom, I mean. Still a couple off that, and still a couple of intelligence off. So Dark Moon is going to take a little while to uh, to get there, unfortunately. Um, not quite sure why. That's what the starting stats were, I guess. What a 20. I guess a little unlucky not to get that one, but we got that one, so... Is it better to go for intelligence? It might be. This stuff we're probably much guaranteed to get. I'm going to re-roll that. There we go. I think that's probably better for, for Hemlock. Bishop, intelligence. See, we want the intelligence and the wisdom. So one more level up and Hemlock should get that. Uh, Melody didn't, but Tony did. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe a little bit unlucky not to get the strength. I'd like to get another ranger and they need the strength coming in. We're guaranteed for this. This is a good chance. I think we reroll. So we didn't get the strength. They get two dexterity though, which is nice. 
So again, not quite sure what to do with Tony, because that feels like that strength 10 might be quite hard for him to achieve. Will, what's his willpower like? No, not great. <laughs> I don't know. We'll keep leveling him up. Well, I'll put Ranger for now, just so I don't keep getting bugged about other stuff. But, um, yeah. Maybe a little bit unlucky on that. New skills on one character. Hemlock. So what should we do here? Probably the mana, I think. I think it's good for all the spell... Certainly the spellcasters, anyway, to, to get a nice big mana pool. Okay. Okay, well, I don't think we do another mission, but maybe we could uh, maybe wait a day and then plan our next mission. Because at the end of the day, so a lot of these people are going to be coming back. So let's just wait a day. Have a look. Night walk. What's this? Oh. Is that good? Maybe it's good. Something strange happened to Sia last night. Some of our adventurers spotted her wandering aimlessly around at night and not reacting to any of the attempts to talk to her. When later asked about her weird behaviour, she denied it ever happened. And instead, got angry with the people that were spreading rumours about her. Oh, she's lost mood. Okay, she hasn't lost a mood. She <laughs> She's unhappy, which isn't good. Okay, well, these guys are happy, which is good. And they'll be, they'll be good for another 15 days now, which is nice. Um, so I think what we're going to do... I'm going to send our level... Oh, maybe we'll do a Survive Enemy Waves, because that doesn't need to last a long time, and it's worth a lot of XP. Yeah, I might even do that in this video. It shouldn't take a huge amount of time. What I was thinking is we're going to send our level 7s out and some of these guys are going to just become level 8s. Uh, and, uh, and options for the... Is Pladuk? Pladuk is 8, okay. Uh, let's do Solaris. Uh, I, guess I, we, I guess we probably need a healer. And what's Rowan? Rowan's an 8. We got a 7 healer. We won't send a level 4 out on this. Do litzy bits though, maybe. Okay, let's do survive enemy ways with these guys. And we don't need anything like that. Here we go, good blessing, knowledge. Remind me what that is. More experience, yeah. Good, we're in the experience game right now. Uh, I, I am going to give the good staff to uh, Solaris, even though Solaris is our fire mage at the moment. Uh, we're going to give Frederick, sorry, Ferdinand, to Odin. Uh, oh, and yeah, so we've got two really nice great swords now, which is cool. Another staff there, and some stabby knives. Give Odin the arcane knight armor. Late mail for Luis. Uh, priest. Assassin Mage. Right, let's see what we've got. Physical resistance. Yeah, maybe. Well, I mean, we give Solaris this, and I think probably this as well. Maybe the Basilisk out. With a healing token. Uh, yep, backstabby and. Let's do this accuracy and crit. We've got Luis and Odin now. I think. Physical mm, attack and pen. Luis. Hmm, now let's give Odin that, actually. We'll give that to Luis. Accuracy, crit. These are probably the ones we'll use. The physical resistance. Yeah. And... Accuracy. I don't want to be fussing around with bravery points, trying to keep everyone actually hitting stuff. We'll take a well. We'll take as much as we can here. I think we'll take um, all the potions. I mean, we'll take those. Um, physical attack. Yep, take that. Resistance, mana. Because we're not going to be collecting anything here. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's try and squeeze in a quick, uh, quick one of these.
And hopefully, well, I mean, Litzy Bits is a six, level six, but I mean, hopefully we're going to get guys coming to level eight here now. Let's just start. Now, there's probably a lot of undead here. This is a this is a fortress one. Starting off with bandits. Now we have one over there. A bunch over here. I don't think we're going to leave them to come to us because we have got quite a lot of ranged. I think we uh, just get straight up, do what we can. Oh, okay. I need to buy a AP. Let's not muck about. Let's get these guys off the board. Odin, though, is a little bit further away from the action. I might hold Odin, because some of these these guys might need to come in a bit. Luis can actually get up and do this, though. So let's power strike this guy. It's a 95. Good chance to kill. 78. I don't think that... What was, it? What was our previous record? Was it 84? I think that's still our record. resistances and stuff now. Okay, well, um, I'm just going to delay, I think. Same with Solaris. These these uh, archers will have to get in closer. So. I can Odin... Let's try and keep Odin relatively central, I think. Uh, oh, we can use the magic, of course. Wait, 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 wait. Are we missing something there? I don't know. Uh, lightning bolt. Wow. Nice one, Odin. Litsy bits. Uh. Unleash the basilisk. Oh, I wanted to go for the axe one. Okay, so let's see this. Uh, let's see this. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, a Solaris isn't our Ice Mage, but we've got the Ice Staff, so yeah, pretty good. Gizmo, I think we'll just try and bring you back in a little bit to respond to any new wave coming in. Luis, I think we just kill this guy. Uh, yep, unless we roll low. Oh, we blocked, actually. Oh, he blocked. Okay. Solaris might have four range. I'm not, I can't remember. He, one, two, three. No, he doesn't. Could I get within four range? Three range. No. Right. Uh, eh, we'll just chill for now. Odin. Yeah, I still want to keep you kind of central, Odin, so... Some ghoulies coming in. Well, they're zombies, really, aren't they? Uh, Gizmo. We got one coming in here, so I guess we'll. I guess we'll just hang out there. Litsy bits. Can we come over this way? Just come on, just kill this dude. There we go. Uh, stay near here. Solaris, likewise. And I guess Odin move up that way. Gizmo. Chance for kill? So let's go back. Let's do a sneak attack and hopefully kill it. Yep. We'll probably have to get rid of the gravestones because they won't disappear between rounds, I'm assuming. I don't want them reviving. Let's keep trying to keep it more central. It's a straight up kill if he hits, so. Yeah. Right. Okay. 
hopefully we'll get around to like take down these gravestones. Yeah, we got around. I don't like Gizmo being in this corner, so let's get rid of this. And then we're gonna get out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's quite well there's nothing coming on here. So hmm. we 187 damage on that. Uh, I'm gonna bring Litsy Bits maybe a little more central. I'm gonna bring Odin round to that side too. Thank you, Basilisk. Odin's here, but I, I kind of want him in. in, in yeah, we got we got big guys coming in, and we want Odin up there. To, uh, to be honest, maybe leave Lewis back here to do, Luis to deal with those. Uh, Solaris can come up. We could put something on someone, like uh, negating damage. Yeah, I'll put that on Gizmo. Little magic shield. I think we still want to get this, though. <laughs> Bad luck. <laughs> He's spawned on the spikes. Yeah. <laughs> As he gets stabbed by spikes. Uh, yeah. mm. Alright, let's do this. And, oh, Gizmo. Okay, no, Gizmo's run out of points. Okay, fair enough. Well, chance of a kill. Good chance of a kill if it hits, yeah. Get him! Luis? Almost a, almost a kill. And this dude. Yeah, it makes sense, but we've got. Hmm? Oh, the barrier. It, it, yeah, okay, so the barrier actually did block the damage, so we didn't take that. That's good. No, you were dead. Ooh, that's not good, but at least uh, Odin, Odin took care of it, so it's not to worry. Uh, we just need Luis now to finish this off, so yeah, Litsy Bits might even do it. Have some of that. I quite like those, it's high experience for these waves, but actually we've done okay in them so far. Uh, let's go back. Luis didn't quite make it, but that's okay, because I don't know if Luis is going to come out with us on the story mission anyway. I think he was kind of an extra here, really. Because we've uh, got Odin as kind of our damage melee. Okay, let's see bits. Level up. Yeah, okay. So Bishop, we're still waiting for 12 wisdom, which should be next level up. Okay. Then we've got Odin. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I mean, I would have liked to have got two there as well, I think, but, you know. I think that's, that's decent enough. Let's see, we've got Gizmo. So I think we'll do the story mission next time. Now I've got a party of eights who can sort of go in and deal with it. Ooh, shame we didn't get the 70, but we got everything else, plus a double dexterity, so I think we'll be happy with that. Um, and then we have... So 
Stellaris. He might be able to be High Mage now with that, I think. Let's see. Yes, he can. Good, good, good. And then we've got... Who else came out? Maybe that was it. Is that it? I thought there was another one. Oh, well. So, skill points. Odin. So this is Obliterating Strike. Uh, so it just costs Bravery points, interestingly. Well, and 3 AP. Um, but basically, that just wipe something off the face of the map. That's like 50, 48 to 70 damage. Um, okay. Uh, ooh, spinning attack. Power slash. Slice and dice. That sounds pretty nice. What do they do? So that can hit people all around him. Uh, power slash can hit through another enemy. It's pretty hard as well. And slice and dash. Uh, teleports to selected tile. Ooh, a bit more mobility on Odin would be very nice. Plus there's... Whenever a character deals more than 30% of their target's health as damage with a weapon skill, there's a 30% chance to stun the target. Ooh. Ooh, God, and that's not even uh, in the Arcane trait, Arcane Knight training, which we haven't even got any of yet. Fire Slash, Earth Slash. Yeah, what's this? Ooh. Can just hit a line of people in front of him. With elemental damage. That's not bad. Activate one additional stance from Enchant Blade. I'm okay with that at the moment. Bunch of resistances. Yeah, I mean, those are good too. Spell pen. Then, then sort of choosing a school of magic. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, it's all it's all good. It's all good stuff, honestly. I mean, he's already got that stuff. Uh, battle tactics. He's got the battle cry and everything. Vanguard. I mean, just being able to literally wipe something off the map probably should be taken. I quite like those. 30% uh, ch chance to stun. Hmm. It's not, if it was a higher chance, maybe. But I think maybe we increase our physical attack and take some of these new uh, attack options. Just realised I probably would have taken movement on Odin. But no, oh, oh, did I? Oh, I've got the slice and dash now. That's that's mobility. So that is good. Gizmo, uh, debilitating strike, physical damage, and then weakened and vulnerable for two turns. Pretty good. Gut like a fish, cut tendons. What do they do? Gut like a fish. Do physical damage for every point of bleeding. Deal another two damage as true damage. Ooh, that's quite, so that's quite a nice follow-up to the bleed attack. Okay, what about cut tendons? Target gains four bleeding uh, for three turns. And rooted until next turn. Oh, they are quite good. This one is uh, increased sneak attack damage by 20%. I think we probably have to take that. That is good as well, though. Uh, we've got scoundrel training here. Adrenaline. AP cost of all skills reduced by one. Cannot reduce to zero. Eh, maybe. Body switch. Swap position with caster. Emergency escape. Maybe. We're doing alright moving them around at the moment. Frenzy. Character gains two empower stacks for one turn whenever they defeat an enemy if they have less than ten stacks. One turn. Pretty good. I think I'm going to take the dagger training. I'm going to take these skills and just increasing the sneak attack damage. Because we can reliably do that. I think that's pretty good. And Solaris. Now what are we going to do with you? We probably... I mean, we're going to take Fireball. <laughs> uh, definitely. Um, mm, I'm 
thinking maybe movement or the spell pen. We will need to do that, but I'm going to take, actually take the movement on Solaris for now. Yeah. Oh, and we've got a target class, that's right. So Solaris is going to be a high mage or a bishop. A uh, high mage, I think. There we go, for a day. Um, and we'll probably leave it there for now. So when we come back, we're going to go out and do the story mission. Uh, I think with Flora Blitz, Odin, Gizmo, Pladuk, and we probably need a healer, so Rowan. But then we don't have Simchi, and I kind of want a Paladin. Oh god, there's so many good classes. I could take... Right, I'll have to, <laughs> have to make some decisions about who we take, because there's probably more people I want to take than I can take, so we're going to have to make a few calls but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this episode anyway if you have if you could uh, hit the thumbs up button that'd be amazing let me know in the comments what you think about this series and playthrough so far and if you're watching this and haven't yet subscribed to the channel it would be amazing if you could do that so thanks very much and i hope to see you next time bye for now